What do you think, Kay? We're gonna train you how to handle a rattlesnake? Hey guys, hey. guess what? We're in the middle of the night filming and you're gonna see this tomorrow morning. But the question is, did you see America's Got Talent? I hope they did. Oh, there they, was something really good on there, right? You know how cool it was? <laughs> look, 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 you guys, check it out. Oh yeah. Oh my we got God. a bunch of TV stars. <laughs> you know which kind that is? What kind? These are Western Diamondbacks. So the ones in Albino Western Diamondback. Wow. Oh, 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 there's an Eastern right on top. We're gonna do a little rattlesnake action. Yeah, I'm terrified. Today. Yeah, okay. I have to admit it. I'm actually really scared. And only, do you want to tell everybody why? <laughs> yeah, I'm scared because I had a nightmare the other night that I Just got bit by a rattlesnake. How many nights ago? Like two nights ago. <laughs> and he messages me and he's like, "Oh, I have a rattlesnake to show you." So I'm like, "Now this oh, makes me nervous." When she told me that, I'm like, <laughs> "Man, you're freaking me out." Because I'll tell you right now, I got bit by a rattlesnake, almost died. I spent seven days in intensive care. When I was 23 years old, it almost cost me my life. So if you oh, think wow. any part of this video is about pet rattlesnakes, you are grossly mistaken. Very. Let's go see what kind of rattlesnakes we have here, okay guys? You ready for a good video? Yes, I'm ready. Do you see that thumbnail? <laughs> that thumbnail's real. Yeah. <laughs> Kay just helped me, helped me make it. She was freaking out. Yes, I was. <laughs> Okay guys, the funny part about rattlesnakes, a lot of times they crawl in a straight line. One time I went out to my car and there was one laying in the shade, just straight as an arrow like that was. But let me tell you, these guys are so cool. Look at, look at the tail on this. Their nickname is a, a raccoon, a raccoon tail rattlesnake, which is a western diamondback. And you can see how they get that name. Look at the, t see, look at the, see the tail? It's black and white. I have one that's really, really loud and obnoxious. You want to play with it? <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm going to pull it out. As we're putting some of these guys away from the show, we wanted to share it with you. The show went down really cool. I'm actually on the stage the whole time if you guys seen it. So if you saw America's Got Talent and you saw me on there, what about the alligators? You said, did you see the alligator one? Yeah. So they vary depending on where the localities are. Yeah. What kind is this? Same exact kind. It's a Same Western Diamondback. Western Diamondback. Yep. And we're not gonna get. We're gonna. We're gonna stand Western Diamondbacks because they're so cool looking. I'm gonna grab this one right here. Okay. Ooh, ooh. That's Can an Eastern. That? That's an Eastern <gasps> down in there. This is Lucifer. That's his name, Lucifer. Mm -hmm. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> the funny part is the best way to to actually deal with a rattlesnake, believe it or not, you can hold him with a hook out like this. So if he strikes left, he can't get you. If he like, strikes right, he can't get you. Oh, yeah. But check this out. So this is a Western Diamondback Albino. Wow. Doesn't necessarily mean he likes his brother. <laughs> but check it out. There's three different snakes. One's, that one's got a different pattern, different color. There's still one more Western that I have that's really cool looking, but I have to find him. And look at that, that's cool. Check him out. What do you think, Kay? We're gonna train you how to handle a rattlesnake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not tonight. Not we gotta, tonight, we gotta, I'll come back we gotta, let, we gotta let that dream get a little further away. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this guy in here. And so we gotta be careful they come back on the hook. That's why you use the back side of the, that's why you use this part to keep them from coming your way. Mm -hmm. But look at that, is that cool or what? That Raccoon so tail. Cool. Cool so you can see the tail. The amazing part about the tail is it's just, it's like a whole bunch of little cells that all make, there's nothing in it. But it makes the noise. It? Yeah, absolutely. Whoa, so it makes the it. it makes the noise from it shaking, and it's it's just a, it's Whoa. just like a, they're all little compartments. Each one is when they shed, they get another one. You can actually they break off sometimes. He's kept most of his. You can see they're kind of worn out on the end. It's one of the coolest animals when you think about it. It actually has a warning system to stay stay away from people. Yeah. Built in, because they don't want nothing to do with you. You know, I'm gonna ask you a question. I'll give you the answer at the end. But what do you do when you walk up on a really mean rattlesnake? So you see a rattlesnake, he's right in your trail, what do you do? Most people answer this incorrect. 
let's see what you answer it with. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go see what we got here. I'm gonna find that really cool Western and, and then we're gonna move on to some other species. So Kay, look how pretty this one is. This is my prettiest wow. Western by far. I mean, it's got like this sand finish. Now they say that every one of them comes from a different location. When they come from different color sands and stuff, especially like the ones we're gonna show you in a few minutes, they come from pinkish sand, they're kind of pink. If they come from grayish sand, they're more gray. If they come from greenish sand, they're more green. This is obviously from some unique area because it's got a different color. It's absolutely beautiful and it's really, really grainy, kind of granite looking. Yeah. It's got a beautiful tail too. Look at that. Wow. And talking about a raccoon tail, huh? Wow, that one's like very well defined, like it, even compared to the other. This one's thing. actually really, really mellow. And of course, that doesn't mean you reach down there and start petting it. Right. <laughs> people, you know, you can go online and Google it. You can see people petting them, holding them, walk. It's yeah. crazy because I'll just tell you, I literally, when I got bit, I almost died. I was seven days in intensive care, heart unit. My heart was doing weird stuff. My leg got this big around. I, doctor said I was gonna lose my foot. I mean, he's gonna lose, he says, you're gonna lose your foot or at least part of your foot. Yeah. And a bunch of my friends from church prayed for me. I didn't lose one the only thing I lost was the skin on my leg. The crazy part about that was back when they didn't have Profab. Profab is the current stuff you use. If you ever get bit by a rattlesnake, call immediately a hospital and start finding out who has Profab in, in, on hand. Uh, it used to be horse serum. And the worst part about the horse serum was absolutely insane. I come to find out it had a whole bunch of side effects. One of the side effects was being a quadriplegic, a paraplegic and I was just freaking out. It's called serum sickness. Mm -hmm. And I started reading the number one warning sign is itching. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you think happens when your leg gets this big around, turns black, purple, right. every color you don't want to ever see in your body, and then it's gigantic. They measured my leg all night long. They measured my leg all night long for, for the first two days. And they said if it, I was almost made it to the point where they were going to make, make incisions. Uh, they don't do that anymore, but back then it was a while ago, of course. I'm not a young guy. Okay, so what, what kind do you want to see next? I want to see a timber rattlesnake, Jay. Do they're, you have one of those? They're pretty, huh? Yes, they they're are. They're really cool. This is technically uh, a timber rattlesnake. A lot of people argue whether it's a timber rattlesnake or a cane break. A cane break usually is more striped than this, but this one is both striped. It kind of lands in the middle of a, a, a cane break. You can see the line right there in the beginning, that stripe down its back? Yeah. That's supposed to make it a cane break, but it's not as striped as a lot of them. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And wow. it is one grumpy snake. Oh, really? Look at his tail. Yeah, it's so like black. Yeah. Yeah. So it's dark. just absolutely incredibly quick. It's, uh, this, oh, yeah? one, this one here was actually one of the grumpy ones at the tonight at the show, it was pretty active. What's your favorite rattlesnake from today's video? So at the end of the video, comment, and uh, if there is one you like, make sure you click the like button, because that yeah. like button is our friend. Yes. It helps our videos get seen, and we want you to see our videos. Absolutely. And we, so you want your notification, right? The K&J Show. Definitely, make sure you thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we can see the speckle rattlesnake next? Absolutely, I think that that's actually my favorite one, to be honest. How come this one's one of your favorites? Uh, I just, they come in so many different colors. Yeah. These guys live in rock formations all over California, Arizona, yeah. and they're absolutely cool. And they come in like pink and white and speckled and, and they're just really, really cool rattlesnake. That is really cool. So is this a full size or still a baby? Pretty it's much a lot smaller. Pretty, no, they're actually pretty much an adult. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they don't get, they don't get gigantic like some of the other rattlesnakes. There's so many different sizes and shapes and kinds. Mm -hmm. I don't even know hardly any of them, to be honest, compared to how many there really are out there. Yeah, wow. And they're very fascinating. Yeah, I actually very deadly. read that there are about 36 different kinds. I don't know if that statement's true. 36 but, different types of rattlesnakes? Mm -hmm. I think there's more than that, yeah. but I could be wrong. I mean, but then again, then you got this situation like this, like watch this, so mm -hmm. here we go. So here's a Southern Pacific rattlesnake, <laughs> which is the kind that we mostly get right around here. But then look at this. This is really another cool one here. Whoa, yeah, sorry. they're all over the floor <laughs> here. So there's a Northern Pacific to show you the difference yeah. between the two. Yeah. So this one here comes from Northern California. Yeah. This one comes from Southern California. Wow. And the speckles come from Southern California, and uh, they go all, they go pretty far south. They're very beautiful. So Jay, because I'm absolutely terrified of these snakes, <laughs> tell me which one the most deadly one is. <laughs> I'm so used to being the guy like, 
everybody making a big thing about how deadly everything is? Yeah. Well, this is actually a deadly snake. So this is the most deadly, and the reason why it's the most deadly, mm -hmm. it's called a Mojave Green. Now this guy's name very big. They're one of the smaller rattlesnakes from our area. Wow. Uh, this isn't a big one, but it's not a baby baby. So this little dude, it's got both kinds of poison in him. Mm -hmm. He's in, he has neurotoxins and hemotoxins. Oh my gosh, so that means that for hemotoxins, it, he, it basically his poison attacks red blood cells and destroys your tissues from inside. Inside, everything. Right, and then neurotoxins, they destroys your nervous system. Exactly. So basically, if you get bit, you're <laughs> done with. <laughs> yeah. This is not your normal rattlesnake bite. A lot of people don't mess with these, Yeah. Because, but we're a zoo, so we kind of need to have a representation of different kinds. But that is literally one of the most dangerous snakes that we own in our, our zoo. Wow. Although we do have a, a very cool uh, Kaboom Viper, which we'll do a video later if you guys like this video. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let's put this guy away while we're all safe and happy. Yeah. And that brings us to the grand finale, you guys. The thumbnail snake, the monster big snake. <laughs> okay, you guys, check this out. This is an Eastern Diamondback. Wow, and this is like the biggest venomous snake in all of North America, correct? Biggest venomous snake in all North wow. America. Their hemotoxins are insane. They're really cool, they eat rabbits. They can eat almost anything. They're really, really large, really large rattlesnake. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Is this the grand finale snake or what? Wow, and just to give people an idea, this is about five to six feet. Correct? Oh, it's at least six feet. Wow, six feet. Yeah, That's for sure. Crazy. I ain't gonna go laying out there, but you can see it's a big, big <laughs> rattlesnake. Let us know what your favorite rattlesnake was. For me, I like big ones, but I don't know. I like big pythons. Yeah. Do you have a favorite yet? I have to go with the speckle. I know that's really my favorite yeah. one, but it only for looks. <laughs> Tell us what you wanna see next week. Hope you had a great time. Go check out America's Got Talent, and you'll see all these snakes on it. It was a pretty epic night. And uh, I'm glad you came down with me. Yeah. This video. Thank you so much, Jay. Make sure you leave your comments below for what you want to see next and thumbs up this video. And you got to go to Kay's page and pound that key that says subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Because you know what? We're going to be making more and more videos, and she's making a lot of her own videos. We're just getting started, but you don't yes. want to be the last one to show up for exactly. the party. Be the first, guys. That's it. That's it. That's it. So, okay, you guys. Hope you're having fun. See you next to next Wednesday. Next We're Wednesday. filming it's Tuesday night, so <laughs> I'm all mixed up. I, I mean, I've been up since five o'clock this morning, running oh around gosh. on stage, and you guys might already seen it. So, living the dream, guys. Peace living out. The dream.